Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I'm your host. Happy Monday morning, ladies. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know I had a really great weekend. Um, today, we're going to be talking about kind of like femininity, but more so like um, I get questions about like how to wake your man up, like all types of things that I feel like um, people would just kind of know. But then I realized that, you know what? There's a lesson to be taught, okay? So, a lot of times in the morning, and I'm going to speak for myself, when I wake up, I like to wake up a certain type of way. In other words, I don't like to be woke up by my sleep. And if I am woke up by my sleep, I don't like a lot of noise. I don't like a lot of screaming. I, I definitely don't like, you know, anything that startles me or makes me think that something is wrong. I, I don't like to be woken up like that. So I, I kind of put some thought into it because yesterday, um, my husband, he had to work and I had cooked like a really big meal on Sunday. Um, I cooked oxtails, I cooked cabbage, you know, like really heavy food. So when he ate, he was like, I need to lay down and take me a nap before I go do this photo shoot. He said, wake me up at three. So when I was waking him up, he didn't have to do the shooting until 4.30. But I know it takes about 30 minutes for me to like really get him up. Like, y'all, I really have to work on this man for about 30 minutes, okay? But I paid attention to the way that I wake him up. And when I wake him up, I just noticed that I don't walk in and flip on the lights and be like, hey, get up. It's time for you to get up. It's 3 o'clock. You said wake you up at three, it's time to get up. I just paid attention to the way that I wake him up. And when I wake him up, I don't turn on the light. A lot of times I go next to him and I, I kind of rub on his hands or his shoulders just so that he could kind of feel touched. Now, I know some people say when you wake people up, you don't touch them because they may fight you or they may do all kinds of stuff like that. I don't know. You have to know the person that you're dealing with, okay? I just know that when I wake him up, I try to, um, in other words, I, it's like I usher him into the moment of getting up. So I'm starting off and I'm rubbing on his hands and I'm rubbing on his arms. And then I notice that I start rubbing on his face. Then I kind of lean over and I start kissing on him. And I, be, I say stuff like, babe, it's time for you to get up. It's time for you to get up. And, you know, he may shift a little bit. And then, I, of, of course, I know he's not woke, okay? So, at this point, you know, I'm kind of like, all right, it's time for you to get up. And at this point, I'm, I'm touching him a little more, you know, like, not shaking, but more so like, come on, it's time for you to get up. And on our nightstand, there's a lamp. Because if you turn the lights off in our room, it's pretty dark. And we have it like that on purpose. Um, so I turn on the, the, the lamp on a nightstand and at this point it's not too, too bright, but it's just enough light to let you know, you know, okay. So the light is on and at this point I start pulling the covers off of him because at this point now I'm changing the temperature because when we under the cover, we all snuggled up, right? So at this point I start peeling the covers off of him. And just kind of letting him adjust and peeling the covers off. And at this point, I, I'm peeling the covers off and now his feet exposed. I'm literally paying attention to the way I wake this man up. So at this point, now I'm like rubbing on his feet and like, come on, it's time to get up. And now I'm pulling on his toes. Now I'm walking back up and I start kissing him. And at this point, he starts smiling because at this point, he's woke. The reason I'm doing a lesson on this is because... I think sometimes, a lot of times as women, we are, we, we've we lost how to be graceful. That is something that we are losing from generation to generation to generation. And a lot of times we're losing this gracefulness is because we haven't seen it. Meaning a lot of us grew up in households where... We didn't get to experience to see our mama wake our daddy up. You know, a lot of us didn't experience a man in the house at all. So we know that when our mama woke us up, she walked in the door, flipped the light on, get up, and she's screaming and howling. And we feel like this is how you wake people up. 
And what I want you to understand is we as wives, girlfriends, women, we set the tone. Meaning that when it's done in a graceful type of way and it's done in a, a more feminine type of way, a lot of times it's more receptive, okay? Um, I was looking at the, uh, the Dave Chappelle special and the one thing that I must say is a lot of times people look at femininity and feminism and all of this kind of stuff. It's all about equality. That's what it's about. But the thing is, just because we are graceful as women, it does not mean that we, we don't want the same rights as everybody else. Of course, we want the rights <coughs> Excuse me, that our male counterparts have, but we don't have to lose our femininity in the process, okay? So, I even took it upon myself to pull up some different ways to wake our man up in the morning. Yes, we're going to stroke his arms. We're going to stroke his chest. We're going to kiss his neck. Now, don't get, don't, don't be surprised because men wake up with an erection anyway. Do not be surprised if he want to use this erection, okay? When I was waking up Spencer yesterday, this was in the middle of the day. But I'm saying all that to say, y'all know men wake up with something called morning wood. So when you get to doing all of this that I'm about to tell you to do, do not be surprised if he want to use that morning wood, okay? So stroking his chest, like rubbing on his chest, rubbing on his arms, swaddling and cuddling up to him, right? Another thing you could do is kiss his neck. Yeah, yeah. We could touch him from head to toe. Of course, I've already said that. And then some women like to take it a step further and they like to actually stroke that morning wood. That definitely gets them going. <clears throat> the last thing you could do is completely get on top of him. Oh, yes. Now, only you know how much time y'all have in the morning. I normally try to get him up at least 30 minutes before it's time for him to get up because I know it's a process. My husband is one of the people, he don't wake up right away. He has to literally take him time to wake up and I know that about him so that's the reason it takes so long for me to get him up now if you have this sex adventures kit the sex adventures kit comes with a feather now I learned this from an old school woman who used to tickle her man with a feather in the morning time and wake him up so if you like my mom and you want to do a little tickle 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 with a feather tickle 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 Come get you one of these sex adventures kit because it does have the feather in there, okay? I, and, and I'm saying this because what, what seems like common sense to some people is knowledge to another person. And I know this to be true because I have so many young girls who are asking to be mentored because they know the things that I'm teaching about being a woman that is unheard of. The only thing they see their mom as is a mother, of course, but not even as a nurturer, more so just as a person that's a worker. Sometimes um, mothers are working so much that they don't even have time to nurture. So all of this nurturing stuff that I talk about, a lot of times, a lot of young women are not seeing it, okay? And a lot of young women today are not interested in it because they feel like the men in their lives are not deserving of it. But my thing is, okay, that's where you are right now. But what happens when you meet a man that comes into your life and you not prepared and you don't know like this young lady, all of this is going to tie into each other. And if you in my wife group or in my other group, then you already seen what the challenge is for this week. And I'm not going to put it out there because a lot of y'all men watch the YouTube channel, but ladies, the challenge has been posted up in both groups. Okay. I'm not going to say her name, her na and it says, good afternoon, Ms. Sharonda. My name is blank. I'm having an issue. I need uh, a woman to woman. I need some advice. I met someone, and he's a really nice guy, but he told me some things that really hit home. He says that he likes me a lot. He says that he really wants a relationship with me, but he stated that I'm not affectionate. He also stated that I have forgotten how to accept affection from a man and how to get it, which he is right. I also stated, um, he also stated that I can wrap my whole life into my kids and my job and that I have lost myself and forgotten 
about how to be a woman to a man. Let me stop right here. Remember I said earlier, we saw mamas as workers. A lot of us, we've gotten so consumed with working and maintaining a household and maintaining children to we and, and maintaining our man till we have literally forgotten how to nurture them. And all he's saying is, I need some affection. Because see, that's what men come to women for. They come to us for that nurturing and affection and care. I have literally seen men try to love up on their woman and they won't be like, move, move, don't touch me, get out of the way. I don't like how they move. I've seen women do that. And, and, and some women be like, I don't like all that public stuff. But the thing is, embrace that shit. When your man trying to love up on you, whether it's in private or public, embrace it. Love up on him back. Because what you're doing is when you do that, you're rejecting him. And even though you don't understand that you're rejecting him, nobody likes to feel rejected. Nobody likes to feel that every time they come and embrace you, you push them away. And then a couple of months down the line, you in the inbox saying, he don't touch me. He don't do this. He don't do that. He act like he ain't interested. He act like I ain't attractive. He act like I don't tell when, when he was trying to do all of that and he was trying to show you attention and affection and all of this different stuff. You was move, move, stop. Mm -mm, don't touch me. I don't like all that. Yeah, that's how some of y'all act. See, when I get to talk like that, I watch the numbers go down on Facebook. They be like, oh, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that. She ain't talking about nothing. No, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you and you the main one who need to stay logged on so you can hear it. Because he ain't got to go get from, get from somewhere else what he can get from you. He ain't got to go get that from somewhere else. He can get it right from you. All you have to do is be willing to be open and learn. See, we all born with the same parts, meaning we all born female, right? But it's, it's levels to this shit. It's levels to it, okay? I'm going to keep on reading. I've lost myself. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, I'm going down. Da, 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 da. He also stated to me that it's not about sex. He says that this is not about sex. This man is saying, look, I just want you to have, uh, I, I just want you to give me some attention. I just want you to give me some affection. I ain't looking to have sex with you. But can you hold my hand? Can you, can you rub in my head and caress my head? Can you hug me and love upon me? Yeah, can you pull me into you? Yeah. Can you kiss me? Do you know how many women I meet that say, I don't kiss? And I just be trying to figure out what kind of what in the hell is going on. I remember a point in time when women used to kiss and men used to kiss. And y'all kissed when you was first meeting. But you mean to tell me now that you got the man and now you the married the man, you don't want to kiss the man? What is going on? This is what is being lost when, I, when, when we're talking about femininity. I, I'm all for this equal stuff. I'm all for equality. But there's some things that separate men from women. There's some things that makes us feminine and some things that make them masculine. And I'm all for this equal shit, this equal rights and all of this kind of stuff. But just because it's equal don't mean that we have to lose who we are as women in the process. Okay? All right. So... Basically, this particular woman has ran into a man that she has not prepared herself for, meaning that if she don't get with the program or she don't step it up, this man that she is saying is good will possibly say, this ain't going to work out for me because I'm not getting what I need. It's a possibility that that can happen. Because at the end of the day, this man is saying, I need attention, I need affection, I need to be nurtured, I need to be cared for, and you ain't got to give me no pussy to do that. It's just some, it's some things that I need from you, okay? So, one of the things that we're doing this week is we're getting back to the basics, okay? 
And the reason we're getting back to the basics is because I just believe that there's some things that we used to do, but technology has ruined us in so many words. You know, I ask women, when was the last time you did this? When was the last time you did that? And they be like, oh, I sent a text. Oh, I did this. I, I did that. And it's just kind of like, what happened to the old school, old fashioned? What, what happened to some of the things that we used to do as women, right? So we're going to get back to the basics. Y'all seen the challenge in the group. If you're not in the group, you need to send your request to join the group. Men, be on the lookout because it's going to be an awesome week for you, okay? Um, That's going to wrap everything up for me today. I am here at the store working. I will be here um, throughout the day. Today, Amber is off. Amber, enjoy your off day, girl. I am holding the fort down today. So again, if you have not gotten this Sex Adventures kit, it has a blindfold. It has the little tickle, tickle, tickle feather. What I love about it is these cards that's for the people who are not creative um, to be able to do different stuff. I actually had somebody else to ask me this. She said, how can she um, create a romantic environment when she lives with other people? I, and the only thing that I could tell her was, you know, she was like, I live with other people and it's me, uh, me, him, and the kids all in one room. I don't know the circumstances. Right now, it's so much different reasons that people are living with family. We've had hurricanes. We've had floods. We've had so much different stuff that then went on to, you know, I can't say that you're living with somebody else because y'all, you know, wasn't handling y'all business. But... My recommendation is, sweetheart, it's time for you to book y'all a hotel room. And it's time for y'all to do some things that grown people do. Grown people have to connect on a certain type of level. I'm going to stress it. They have to. This is a must. This is not a negotiation. Grown people have to connect on a certain type of level. Okay? And it's kind of hard to connect on the level that you need to connect on. One, in a household with other people. Two, in the bedroom with, with your children in the bedroom with you. It's real hard to connect on that type of level. So, I don't know the circumstances. I don't know all of the information. But the only thing I can say is, baby, get you a hotel room for the weekend or even get one for one night. Save up. Get you a hotel room for one night. And y'all get up in there and y'all have some fun with each other. Because that's what you need. But as you can see, this little kid got all kind of stuff. If you come about a store today, come pick you up one. It got the vibrating cock ring. Of course, it got the handcuffs. It got the bullet. Yeah, this this is the uh the this is the wireless bullet, one of the longer ones. And what I love the most is the cards. Handcuff your partner hands behind their back and use the feather tickler to stimulate them. Yeah, I'm gonna see what else they got with the tickler. Um, use the bullet vibrator to tease one of your partner's nipples. Great because this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. While stimulating the other. With the tickler, with the feather. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to see what I want once I got the feather in it. Mm. Have your partner sit with their hands cuffed behind their back. Get on your knees and orally please them. Yeah, that one don't have the feather. I was just trying to see. So it's only like two or three of them with the feather on there. But it's a lot of different suggestions, especially for my people who are not creative, okay? So, y'all enjoy this Monday. If you are in if you in the wife group, just know that my regular sex group and the wife group are two totally different types of groups. The content is completely different. The wife group is designed to inspire. And it's not just to inspire in the bedroom because, of course, y'all you know, know we talk about the bedroom all the time. But this is more of a um, group to just inspire you, period, as a wife and to keep you going. You're going to see recipes, 30-minute meals, so that you can have time to be able to spend with your family. You're going to see home decor. You're going to see do-it-yourself. You're going to see inspirational quotes. You're going to see scriptures. You're going to see questions and answers. That's what the wife group is all about. Um, it's not a, a group to bash males, to bash marriage to create doubt, to, to tell you that it ain't going to work. If you're telling us that you're having problems in your marriage, baby, we're going to pray for you. We're going to give you suggestions. We're going to ask you, did you go to counseling? We're going to give you all the suggestions in the world, but the one thing we're not going to tell you to do is to leave your man, divorce your man. 
We're not going to tell you none of that. that. That's not what the group is designed for. Um, that group is not designed for, I ain't doing all that because he ain't worth it. And, you know, he don't do this and that the other. You picked him. You know, when you come into the white group, the one thing that we all understand is you picked your husband. So the only thing we're trying to do is help you be better as a wife. That's all I'm trying to do is help you be better. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging y'all situation. I'm only trying to help you be better. That's it. Okay. You know, um, I'm blessed to, to, to be in a situation to where I'm able to be transparent because a lot of, a lot of people couldn't be transparent on the level that I'm transparent. And you know, the thing is, ain't no, ain't nobody shit perfect. Okay. But some people's situation is a little more jacked up than others. Okay. So I am blessed to be able to be transparent and to literally be able to teach through myself and through my life. So if you're in the wife group, that's what that is all about. All right. Thank you. Uh, like, share, and subscribe YouTube. We have reached 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I am blessed for every, I, I'm thankful, blessed for every last one of you all that consistently Follow the YouTube page that consistently like, that consistently share the information. That is how we grow. Um, I am preparing because they had a lady, baby. She brought me out of retirement, child. She booked that party because, you know, my booking fee is $1,000. You know, my thing is I'm retired from doing parties. So if I'm coming out of retirement to do a party, I'm not leaving my house for less than $1,000 because I have retired from it. So the thing is, if you want it, and you're willing to pay for it, I'm willing to come do it. And that is for local parties. Some people say, what they paying for? You're paying for an experience that you can't get from nobody else because there's only one Sharonda Parker. There's only one. You know, and a lot of the information that I give is priceless, meaning that I, once I give you that information, I can't get that back. Once I teach you that trick, I can't get that back. You're going to have it for, for the man you with now, if you ain't married for the, the man that you, all the men that you're dealing with up until you get your husband, that's going to take care of you fell. Yeah. So a lot of people try to figure out what you're paying for. It's, baby, sometimes you got to understand certain things is priceless. And if y'all got to put together, I don't know how these ladies did it, but I know it ain't number 10 ladies that the party's for and they paid the money. So guess what? I'm there. All right. You all be blessed. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Come see me here at the PPG store. Make sure y'all go check out that challenge. And we ain't using no technology to do it. It's straight up old school. Old school. I know a lot of y'all worried, especially these new millennials and generation XZ and all of y'all the young babies because they ain't taught y'all how to write in cursive. Y'all ain't got no penmanship skills. No handwriting skills, because all y'all know how to do is text, but you're going to learn today. You're going to learn. Yes, the challenge is there. So let's get it. All right, y'all be blessed.